Welcome to Nintai Home. Nintai meaning perseverance in Japanese. On this channel, you'll be seeing my various home projects portrayed in a more professional format than you'd see, say, on in the inner circle. Today's project is to get rid of these really hideous, ugly dog beds, replace it with something that looks something like this, but we're going to have to build it out of some wood here that's in the garage. And I went to Lowe's, bought this wood. Now I'm going to measure it out, and I'm really just improvising here. We knew we wanted it to be a two-by-three structure and about two feet tall, so that way the dog can jump on the top bunk. So I'm just measuring it out. And as I was saying earlier, on this channel, you're going to find my various home projects that are more focused than the inner circle. The inner circle is kind of all over the place. And of course, my arm is here blocking me chopping the wood. But there's all the chopped wood. And again, back to about what this channel is going to be. This project is the dog bunk bed, of course. And in other videos you'll find on this channel will be various focused projects around the home. And I really just wanted a home for these home projects. And we have the Nintai home. And here I am drilling some holes, getting the, getting the frame all built out and screwed in. And I even put a counter sink in it so that way I can uh, get the screw to sink into the wood a little bit further and just have a little bit more structure to it. I ended up making two of these. One is the bottom part, the other one is the top part. And on the top part, I'm going to have slats going across it so that way some board can sit across it and it'll just be like a flat surface that Chai, hopefully, will be on the top bunk and have a very stable surface to sleep on and land on and or jump off of. So I really wanted this thing to be solid and hopefully that's enough slats to hold the piece of wood I'm about to put on here. So here's a scrap piece that I need to chop up and get the sizing right. I didn't get it right exactly. Um, I'm scared of my table saw, so I don't really use that thing. I use a jigsaw instead. And so I just cut this thing to size as best as I can using my jigsaw and sand it down and get it fitted. It definitely didn't fit the way I would like it to and would like to find a better way to get a straighter cut, maybe with a hand, uh, a circular saw. But there are the four legs that are going to be the main structure holding up the top part portion of the bunk. And it needs to be short enough that a dog can jump on it. Um, but also tall enough for Sparky, who's going to be on the bottom bunk. So I needed some additional bracing. So I'm bracing up the back with some pieces of wood. And there it goes. It's just about done. I think it's pretty sturdy. So I'm testing my weight on it. It still feels a little bit wiggly. I'm not quite comfortable with it. So I added some more bracing to it. And this made the bed very solid. I felt very comfortable getting on and off of it. And I weigh a lot more than our dogs. So I think this thing is going to hold pretty well. Here I am putting it in place, hoping that the dogs are going to like this and we are going to have more room and less tripping hazards in our room with these giant grungy looking dog beds. And it'll be a lot easier to wash because it's just going to be blankets. So Sparky definitely likes the bottom bunk. Chai does not care about the top bunk. I really tried to get her on there, but she just wasn't having it. And <laughs> I'm thinking, hmm, maybe the other dogs are distracting her. So let me get the other dogs out and let me get her up on top. And I've got a little bone for her. And of course she's like, nah, I'm good. But you can see how solid that bed is. And it worked out very well. Sparky enjoying her space. And then we have Caesar who has a crate of his own um, over on the side of our bed. So he doesn't need a little spot here. But he seemed to be comfortable with going on in there with Sparky. And so I thought it'd be really neat to get them together. <laughs> and so I just keep telling him like, hey, go, go lay down. Go lay down with Sparky. Go on, go lay down. 
And he's like, I don't know, because he Sparky and him are kind of have a funky, complicated relationship. They get along, but they tend to keep a great distance in between themselves. Anyways, everyone, that was the first video on Nintai Home. Hopefully you enjoy videos like this, home improvement videos, home projects and stuff like that, because I'll be uploading more stuff like this onto that channel as I tackle the various things around this house that have been needed to be done for years.